In this problem, we are to find an angle between 0 and 2 pi coterminal with the given angle. So what this problem has done is take an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians, that's once around the circle counterclockwise, and successively added 2 pi units to give you an angle bigger than uh, 0 to 2 pi. So what you would have to do, since they successively added 2 pi to this angle, is successively subtract 2 pi until you get an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians. So for example on A, uh, 11 pi over 5, that is not an angle between 0 and 2 pi. In fact, 11 fifths is bigger than 2. So we want the angle between 0 and 2 pi. That means this number has to be smaller than 2, and right now it's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply subtract 2 pi. Uh, the problem is that uh, 2 pi has a denominator of 1, and to subtract fractions we need common denominators. So we're going to put a 5 down here, and of course if you put a 5 in the denominator, you'd have to multiply the, uh, the top by 5 as well. So you could think of that as 10 pi over 5. So 11 pi over 5 minus 10 pi over 5 would give me uh, 1 pi over 5 and you can think of that as 1 fifth pi and I read it that way only to compare to make sure that uh, the number in front of pi is smaller than 2, right? The angle has to be between 0 and 2 pi now it is. 1 fifth is 0.2 in fact um, right? 1 fifth is 2 tenths or 0.2 pi so it turns out that 11 pi over 5 is coterminal with the angle 0.2 uh, pi so pi over 5 would be the answer there, and you could just type that into Math AS uh, using PI uh, for the pi symbol. So that was an easy one because I only had to subtract 2 pi once, so I'm sure there's a problem later on that instead of just adding, uh, taking an angle between 0 and 2 pi and successively adding 2 pi uh, just one time, they did it several times. So if you look at C, uh, I choose C because it's a positive angle just like A was, it's 65 pi over 2 and that means again they must have taken an angle between 0 and 2 pi one time around the circle and uh, added 2 pi several times to make it this huge uh, angle and now we have to undo that figure out how many times they wanted around the circle so every time they wanted around the circle they added 2 pi we have to undo that by subtracting 2 pi so you literally just subtract 2 pi, subtract 2 pi, subtract 2 pi until you get down to an angle between 0 and 2 pi now again to subtract you need a common denominator so rather than subtracting 2 pi we are going to subtract 4 pi over uh, 2. So it's going to look a little different. I'm going to subtract 4 pi over 2 and remind yourself that that really is 2 pi. And um, what's going on then is we're actually just uh, removing one uh, revolution on the circle or subtracting 2 pi radians. Well, unfortunately, 65 minus 4 is 61, and 61 halves is not smaller than 2. Uh, so we're going to have to do this many times. So to figure out how many times we're going to have to do this, uh, I need to know how many times 4 goes into 65. So uh, if you don't know that, you could take a calculator, but you should probably know if you take 65 and, uh, and divide by 4, uh, you get roughly 16. In fact, I think you'd get 16 and, uh, and a quarter, so 16.25. So the idea is if I was to subtract 4 pi over 2, and I was to do that 16 times. I'm not going to write this out 16 times. Uh, repeated subtraction can be done by multiplication. So the idea is let me just uh, write multiply by 16 here. And by doing that, by multiplying this by 16, that's the equivalent of subtracting 4 pi over 2 16 times. Uh, so what you're going to have then is we started with 65 pi over 2. And if you subtracted 4 pi over 2 16 times, that would be the equivalent of subtracting, uh, let me see here, 4 times 16 is 64. So that would be the equivalent of subtracting 64 pi uh, over 2. And we get a little lucky, this one's a little more obvious. 65 pi over 2 minus 64 pi over 2 would be 1 pi over 2. And if you want, again, think of that as 1 half pi. We need to make sure that the angle is bigger than 0, and it is, it's positive. Uh, but less than 2 pi, so the number, the coefficient on the pi needs to be smaller than 2, and it's a half, so of course uh, that works. So in Math IS, again, you could just type in uh, pi for pi, divide by 2, and submit that, and you should get that part correct if this was your question. 
so I did A and C together uh, out of order because they were positive angles. So how would it work if it was a negative angle? So how did this question generate a negative angle? Uh, so what we did is we took an angle between 0 and 2 pi, and we uh, and you could express it as, as a positive angle somewhere. It doesn't have to be quadrant 1, but just I have to draw an angle. So it doesn't matter where I draw, but the idea is what they did is instead of uh, going around the circle counterclockwise many times is that they went uh, around the circle clockwise and when you move clockwise that's uh, a negative angle. So what this uh, problem did is take an angle between 0 and 2 pi and subtracted 2 pi several times uh, to make a uh, negative angle. So you're going to have to undo that and every time they subtracted 2 pi you're going to have to undo that by adding 2 pi. So for part B here we're actually going to add 2 pi uh, many, many times until we get the angle between 0 and 2 pi. Remember, it does have to be positive. It has to be uh, uh, greater than 0. Uh, so the idea is you could add, uh, instead of adding 2 pi because we need a common denominator, we need a denominator of 3, you would add 6 pi over 3. And maybe this is small enough that I could write this out. You could add 6 pi over 3 several times. Um, this would be like adding 12 pi, and we'd have to keep going here. Uh, I would prefer just to use multiplication uh, to represent repeated addition. So the idea is if I was to add it uh, four times, that wouldn't quite be enough. That would be 24 pi over 3, and you think that might work, but what's going to happen is, and I've had several emails about this one, is you have to be careful. That's going to leave you with negative 25 plus 24. You're going to be left with negative pi over 3, and it seems like it might work, but it's a negative angle. Remember, we need an angle between 0 and 2 pi. It must be positive, right? Bigger than 0 means positive. So you're actually going to have to add 6 pi over 3 a fifth time. Uh, so, you know, this is just kind of tedious to write this all out. Uh, so uh, rather than do it this way, uh, you know, if you're just a little bit um, slyer, you would say, well, let's add 6 pi over 3 and remember, every time you add 6 pi over 3, you're really adding 2 pi, so you're going around the circle uh, counterclockwise, getting back to where you started. We need to do this 5 times. Uh, so if you multiply by 5, you know, adding 6 5 times is the same thing as adding 30. So this is negative 25 uh, pi over 3, and we are going to add uh, 30 pi uh, over 3. So if you look at that, we really added 10 pi, which is 5 times around the circle, because it takes 2 pi to go around, and we're adding 10 pi. So they must have taken an angle and went around the circle 5 times. Um, clockwise, now what we're doing is we're uh, unwinding it, so to speak. So what this is going to leave you with is 30 pi subtract 25 pi would be uh, 5 pi uh, over 3. And um, that's a positive angle. So if you looked at this, uh, you could think of it as 5 thirds pi. So the fact that it's positive means it's bigger than 0. Is it less than 2, though? Is the number in front of the pi uh, less than 2? Well, sure, it's 5 thirds. You know, 3 goes into 5 uh, one time uh, with 2 left over. So it's 1 and 2 thirds, or 1.66 uh, repeating uh, times pi. So that number is less than 2. Uh, so you would just type in 5 pi over 3 uh, for that one, and that would be uh, the correct answer for that part. So last but not least, we're going to move to D if you have the, uh, the patience or the, uh, the need. So D is the same as uh, B in that they gave me a negative angle, so which means they would be moving clockwise around the circle several times. Uh, how many times, I don't know, I'm going to figure that out in a minute, but what they did is they went on the circle clockwise, you know, some unknown uh, number of times. So to undo that, we're going to go counterclockwise, which would be uh, a positive angle. So we're going to be adding 2 pi again uh, over and over. So what do we have? Negative 27 uh, pi over 5. And adding 2 pi, again, 2 pi has a denominator of 1, and to add fractions, you need a common denominator, so we need a 5 down there. So if you multiply the bottom by 5, you'd have to multiply the top by 5. So we're going to be adding 10 pi over 5, which is the equivalent of adding 2 pi. And every time we add 2 pi, of course, uh, we go around the circle one time uh, clockwise. 
So adding 10 pi over 5 is going to knock this down to negative 17. If I did it again, you could literally take your calculator and just take negative 27 and add 10, add 10 until you get the answer you want. So, so far we were adding 20 pi. That would be leaving me with negative 7 pi over 5. And it's almost uh, tempting to say that's the answer because 7 fifths sounds good. The problem is it would be negative 7 fifths and we need our angle bigger than 0. So we're going to actually have to add it one more time. Uh, add 10 pi over uh, 5. So what we've done is we've essentially added 30 pi over 5. So 30 pi over 5, take away 27 pi over 5, um, would be 3 pi over 5. And 3 pi over 5, I think, uh, satisfies both conditions. The angle that we want is supposed to be between 0 and 2 pi. So we want our angle represented in a positive way and within one revolution around the circle. Uh, so again, 3 pi over 5 could be thought of as 3 fifths pi. It's obvious that this angle is positive, so we're already bigger than 0. To, to see that it's less than 2 pi, just realize that, uh, uh, that 3 fifths is less than 2, right? 3 fifths is the same thing as 6 tenths, which is 0.6. So this could be written as 0.6 pi. Uh, if you want. If, you, if you're not good at arithmetic, take 3 and divide by 5 in your calculator, but that's 6 tenths, so it's 0. 0.6 pi, and certainly 0. 0.6 is less than uh, 2, so uh, hopefully this video helped.